This is the Transformers War for Cybertron Trilogy Kingdom Deluxe Class Shadow Panther. Very, very cool. Picked up this figure at my local Toys R Us store. It was uh, retailing for $24. It was luckily on a 10% discount. We got instruction sheet and the figure itself. Very cool. Absolutely gorgeous. If you didn't already know, this is a redeco of Cheetor. Uh, Kingdom Cheetor. He is packed. I don't know what happened to his feet. Why is it packed this way? Did I miss something? Should have been packed. Wow, look at that. I hope there are no defects. But just my luck. Probably get something wrong with this figure. Oh, okay. And we get... Optimus Prime? Is it the, this is the dead Optimus Prime? Nemesis Prime. Okay, but not the Siege version. This is the Earthrise Kingdom mold. Okay, pretty cool. So let's take a closer look at the figure. And the figure looks gorgeous. I love how it turned out. And if you look closely, he's gotten a new head sculpt. This is the mutant head sculpt, I believe. And unfortunately, the mask is not removable. Can't really see the original head there. They did that on purpose. It's a shame. You can see some bits of detail here. They sort of very similar to Cheetor's head sculpt, but it's okay. I'm happy with the glossy black plastic that they used. Uh, the silver paint apps on the figure, they look okay. Hardly anything to complain about. You get that those red beady eyes from the animal head and this head sculpt actually looks pretty nice i'm actually very impressed with it as far as mold degradation goes uh this is the third version of this mold it still it still feels pretty tight like as though this was first production use of the mold yeah very very cool okay uh let's get him transformed into his uh panther mode okay so, first thing you want to do is you want to tr turn that head, detach the animal head, like this, and then close that up. The mouth, close the mouth like that. And at this point, you want to open this up. Right, and close the shoulders. Hmm. This. And line up, line up that, those forearms, okay, okay, close that in, okay, okay, all right, close the loins, Panther arms, like this, okay. the legs, I'm gonna fold up this way, fold up this way, okay, and this way, like that, all right, and all that's missing is his tail, speaking of which, did, did I miss anything? Oh, okay, oh, there we go. Just plug in that tail. Okay. And there you go. Shadow Panther in his Panther mode. Very, very cool. Okay, like this. Yeah. It turned out great, even in alt mode. It's really pretty cool. Very solid. I mean, this is easily my second favorite version of this mold. First one is obviously the Netflix version, but this one is the, my second favorite. I don't have Agent Ravage yet, just yet. Still waiting on that. But yeah, not too bad, not too bad at all. Absolutely loving this figure. If you're a big fan of the character, 
and you're okay with this Cheetor mode from the Kingdom line, you've got to pick up this figure. The figure is going to get a 9 out of 10. Definitely a keeper, I think, uh, from this line, from this new Kingdom line. What a wonderful job they did on this. And like I always say, if you're going to do a repaint, you've got to nail those colors. You've got to nail the redesign for the actual repaint to work. And it works perfectly with this figure. Let me know in the comment section what you thought of the Transformers Kingdom Shadow Panther. Hit that notification bell so you never miss out on any of my latest video reviews. And if it's your first time here, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.